Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're CB for the first time, if you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? I'm smiling over the top of my head because I'm excited to share this video with you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a soft glam summer spring makeup look it's the summer season we're looking for a way to have makeup that's gonna last long but also something that is not gonna look crazy not entirely a full face of makeup but still makeup if you get the vibe so in this video i'm gonna be doing a detailed soft glam summer spring makeup look if you like it or if you're interested please keep on watching and yeah without further ado let's get right into the video okay <laughs> straight into the face i'm gonna use this primer right here from tease cosmetics during the season if you're oily skin or if you have combination skin one thing you don't want to skip is your primer because as much as we want to be hydrated we don't want to go out here looking crazy and like oily it's no so don't skip your primer if you definitely have oils you want to have that primer in place just so that you're you know balancing everything out i'm gonna go in with my contour this is from thread beauty this is their face it complexion stick in the shade 240 okay so the next thing that i'm gonna do is my blush and i know this is like a very different type of order but keep following the process you'll see what it looks like i'm gonna use the urban decay hydromaniac blush glow hydrator it's a long name but it's a beautiful blush so <laughs> i like using it so this is what it looks like right now and then next I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using the Sephora. This is their best skin ever multi-use concealer. It's a full coverage concealer, so beware. Um, but this is, she's my girl, okay? I love her. So originally I would use a lot more concealer than this. I just need you to know that. Um, but because again, it's a soft glam daytime type of look, I'm using, you know, I'm still covering the things that I need to cover, but I'm not using a lot of products. I'm not doing cakey type makeup. I'm not doing full face. That's just what it is. This is not a full face of makeup. So I need you to know that, okay? Another pro tip, if you're going for a sheer skin or that skin-like finish, a beauty blender is always your girl, okay? Brushes will give you a much more fuller blend or a fuller face. But if you're going for that skin-like, you know, sheer looking makeup, try a beauty blender okay and next i'm gonna go in with a foundation or my foundation i'm using for the very first time this is a fenty beauty blair and smooth tint stick and this is in the shade 24 so i'm gonna be trying this for the first time this is apparently the ease drop in a stick so that's the shade match kind of looks a little red but let's blend it out and see <laughs> blend and I'm not using a lot of foundation because I really don't need a lot of foundation so I'm gonna cover up the areas that I need to cover up and that's it let me just say that I actually really like this I like this tinted stick look at my skin oh my goodness that looks so beautiful right and it's nice and glowy I feel like this is perfect for the season that we're going into or that we're already in oh i love this i'm about to wear this to work every day <laughs> literally every day because look at that okay so that's about all the foundation that we need for this look okay really quickly before i go in and set my under eye i would just use my beauty blender to press in that concealer one more time just to make sure that i don't have any creases so that you know i can just put my powder over that without any creasing Okay, next I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder to just set my face. And you just want to press that powder in. Look up and then press that powder into your skin. See how smooth that is? I love that. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is bake. Okay. This is an extra step. You can decide to skip it, honestly. But if you want to have your under eye looking smooth and staying like 
fresh pretty much all day this is what you want to do bake 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 after you set bake keep and then I'm gonna do the same for my smile lines I know I look crazy right now but it's gonna come together trust me Okay, next I'm gonna get into some eye work. I will start off with my brows. I'm using the Thread Beauty 3-in-1 Brow Pencil. This stuff has everything that you need for your brows. Literally, brow gel, brow liner, brow mascara, literally everything is right here, like right here, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my brow gel. I'm going for kind of like a feathery, also soft looking brows, just so that it matches with the look that I'm doing. But also because I don't have a lot of brow hairs, all the hairs in this area is just too sparse, okay? I have to do a little extra work. So I'm going to fill it out big time and then I go ahead and like reduce that or tone that down. You see what I mean? But yeah. <laughs> So I went ahead and cleaned my brows with the same concealer that I used for my face and then now I'm going back in with the brow gel again to sort of make it look a little more feathery and just lay those brows. So see what I'm talking about? Next I'm going to do my eye shadow or eye prep and so then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And then you always want to set that concealer if you use a concealer to prep your eyelids you always want to set it okay and then also set your brow concealer now this is literally my favorite type of eyeshadow to do for whenever I'm doing a soft glam it's literally my go-to everyday eyeshadow look okay so I'm gonna start off with this shade right here it's like a white off white kind of like a creamy white shade I feel like it doesn't show so well on camera but I'm going to sweep that into the inner corner of my eye literally with no formula I'm not even kidding I'm literally just like sweeping that in the inner corner of my eye and then if you want to have a little more pigment you can just like tap 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 to build the color and then go back in and blend that out but whatever light shade you have you can use peach you know you can use light orange but it just has to be very light because the next color is going to sort of smoke it out and then next i'm gonna go in with this brown shade kind of like a caramel brown or maybe hazelnut type brown it's not entirely black brown or dark brown it's in between so and you want to take a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and now I'm gonna go into my outer corner right here you can go in circular motion and then now go right under the brow bone quite literally circular motion like so and then right under the brow bone so I'm gonna increase that pigment by doing the same thing again I'm gonna take the same brush and take a little bit of a little bit of that brown shade and then just sweep that on your lower lash line. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that. But just sweep that on your lower lash line. And if you're the type that likes a wet liner, you should definitely use it because it will make your eye pop a little more for this look. So then I'm going to go in with my lash booster. This is from Lancome. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara from Il Maquillage. This is literally my favorite mascara. I love the one. It's perfect for if you have that clumsy or messy lash looking situation this is good for you okay 
Okay, so the eye work is basically done, almost, almost done, okay? I am gonna go ahead and dust off the powder that I have here. But before I do that, I wanna do my blush. So, this is House Love's Color Fuse Blush in the shade Watermelon Lily. Watermelon Bliss, not Lily. <laughs> I love this blush. It's literally my current favorite blush. It's so beautiful on dark skin girls. Like, if you haven't tried this particular shade, you should take a screenshot, go into Sephora, get yourself one. This stuff is beautiful. It's like gorgeous. And I love how it doesn't dry out your skin. You can literally still see the glow through the blush and it's powder. So I love this blush. It's really beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and dust off the powder. It gets in there. We do look a little powdery right now, but that's all going to come together when you set that face. So chill, okay? Chill. I forgot to set my contour, so I'm going to do that right now because I literally just remember that I forgot to do that. Okay, so last but not the least, I'm going to go in and set my whole face. I'm using the Juvia's Place. This is their powder foundation. This stuff is very pigmented, so I'm going to be as light-handed as possible. Okay, next I'm going to do my lip. I'm going to start off by lining my lip. And then my current favorite lip combo, this is Huda Beauty. This is their lip contour in the shade 2.0. I think, oh no, Huda Beauty's lip contour 2.0, but in a shade honey beige. And I usually just put that in the center. And then I'm gonna top it up with Thread Beauty's lip gloss. This is their glossy, the shade glossy, literally just a clear lip gloss. And then just to add a little bit of glow into this look I'm gonna add my liquid highlighter and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face I'm using the Evan Decay all nectar setting spray and you want to go ahead and dry this down as fast as you can and if you have dry skin you can definitely leave this like this by itself it looks hydrated it looks nice and glowy it's perfect for when you have dry skin but if you have oily skin and you know those oils are going to come out or they're gonna come at play at some point in time during your day you definitely want to go back in with your beauty blender parts where you don't have any products you want to take that and then you're just going to go ahead and press that in okay okay guys so this is the finished look this is literally what i was talking about we put on products you guys saw how much product i used in this video but at the end of the day it doesn't look crazy it doesn't look like a full face of makeup but trust me we do okay we do have on a full face of products okay so this is what it looks like comment below if you have any questions i also have an actual base tutorial where i go in depth and explain everything how i do my base and why i do what i do so if this if this video doesn't exactly explain into details you can definitely go back and watch that um but this is the finished look okay it's giving black girl glory it's giving let's get it's moisturized it's beautiful it's glowy it's well blended we love that but yeah comment below let me know if you have any questions give the video a huge thumbs up if you haven't already done that subscribe to the channel if you have haven't also done that i can't even find my words today i love you guys so much for always coming back i appreciate you i will see you guys in the next one Bye. When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you fuck her right. Your body big as bump like a dummy in the hall. But come tell me, is you down? Cause I'm tryna go good tonight. Hold it, hold you slept right. I just wanna live it.